Stacey Lane Wilson here for Horror.com via the TV wire on the set of Otis, the new satirical horror movie directed by Tony Kranz. Check out our video. No, you let your father handle this. The, the movie centers around uh, Riley Lawson, who's the daughter of Will and Kate Lawson, and I play Otis Broth, who is the, I guess you want to call him a serial killer. And uh, the whole thing is that I, what I do is I, I'm trying to relive my, what I think of as my brother's idealized high school life. I get kidnapped uh, in the beginning um, by Otis, and uh, played by Boston Christopher. And um, it's pretty funny in some ways because, uh, you know, the whole story is basically Otis was in love with this girl in high school and he never got to be with her. And, you know, the whole movie, he kidnaps these girls and he sort of is trying to relive these moments that he never got to have with this girl. You get to say some of the funniest lines today, at least. Now, uh, <laughs> now, yeah. what did you think when you first read the script about your role and, and what you were really looking forward to playing about him? I just really liked the fact that he was kind of able to talk back to authority figures, like for instance, his parents and uh, Agent Hotchkiss. He can just he can he has free range to say whatever he wants because that's kind of the person he is. He's like that outcast who just wants to be accepted, but he. Nobody really accepts him, so it's just like, whatever. Action! Oh! You got all of that one. Sorry, start again. And... I gotta answer Try and see that, Maddie. Yeah. Wait, camera reset, Jason, get out. Yep, yep. And... Action! Oh! You got all of that one. Kate! Somebody's gonna hear! I know, Will. Do something about it. Do something? Like what? Like what? I smashed him in the face with a shovel. I've, I've, I've hot-wired his rectum. Rectum. Damn near killed him. He's in pain. I know he's in pain. Do you think it's anything like the pain that he inflicted on your only daughter, he's Will? He's crying out. I know he's crying. Shut this serial-killing son of a bitch up. No. <laughs> Hopefully this is not your prom attire. Is it one of those like powder blue the suits with the ruffles? Or you <laughs> you you got it right on the money. It's powder blue, and um, I make her wear, you know, sort of this um, pink dress, and it's uh, you know it's sort of that idealized prom from. The, I'm sort of stuck in the '80s, as it were. You know, Otis is kind of stuck back in 1984 and listens to that kind of music and, you know, a little Quiet Riot, little little Blue Oyster Cult, you know, things like that. So it's, kind of, it's very fun. So I understand you became a big Blue Oyster Cult fan after this. Uh, <laughs> I was actually already a Blue Oyster Cult fan. It was funny because in the script, I, I, after I, I booked the, the part, I hadn't gotten to read the script yet. So um, when I saw that that was in there, I was like, oh, that's awesome. But... Um, yeah, I think it's pretty. I, I think especially with all the music in it too, it's pretty funny. So, what does your uh, sexy prom dress look like? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's pink and poofy and uh, pretty, pretty ugly. <laughs>